Hi everyone, in this video we have grade 8, chapter 4, section 1, random experiment, which is on page 126. In this video, because the questions are too much for writing, so we need to just read the questions on the book on page 126, 127. This is example 1, example 2, 3, and 4. About random experiment. In the random experiment, now we study about the possible outcomes for an experiment that we have in the probability. In example 1, the question says, Cameron threw a number cube numbered from 1 to 6. We know number cube, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A tells you write the set of all possible outcomes. All possible outcomes on a number cube, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 all possible outcomes for a number cube when you throw a number cube you will get one or two or three or four or five or six this is all possible outcomes in b it tells you list the outcomes of the event an even number occurs even number we talk about the same number cube which we have in the example one at first ask you all possible outcomes all possible outcomes it can be one two three four five six even numbers the even numbers in a number cube they are just two four and six we have three different numbers which are even among all possible outcomes, even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. In example 2, it's about compound. Compound random experiment. Compound random experiment means we have two experiments to happen. Two things to happen at the same time. It tells you Shirin throwed two coins. In this question, example 2. She throws two coins. List all possible outcomes. Again, this one tells you all possible outcomes. In throwing two coins. In throwing two coins, the first one can be hit, the second one hit. Or the first one head, the second one tail. Or the first one tail, second one head. Or the first one tail and the second one tail as well. It can be tail, tail, TT. We have these four possible outcomes in throwing two coins on the same time. Coin one and two, head, 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 tail, or tail, head, or tail, tail. In B, asks you list the outcomes satisfying the event, which is the coins show two different faces. Two different faces, we know in throwing two coins, we have these possible outcomes that can be happen. Different faces, we see the first one from the outcomes, both of them same face head head they are same so it's not one of these possibilities which is tells you different face different face the first one is a is a different face for both of the coins head head same face head tail it's one of the possibilities which is different face, one of them head, one of them tail. The other one, 
the first one tail second one head again different face different face the last one in the possible outcomes tail 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 it's the same face both of them tail both of them same it's not one of these possible outcomes that we ask about different faces it means for different faces it can be head tail or tail head we have these two to happen in example three we have another question which, which tells you we have two spinners spinner a and spinner b spinner a and spinner b in spinner a we have uh, three colors which are blue red and green blue red green in spinner b we have one two in spinner a we have blue red and green green red blue in spinner b we have number one and we have number two in a asks you write all possible outcomes which can be happen on the same time that we, uh, we spin each one of the spinners one time it can be blue one or blue two b1 b2 it can be red and one or it can be red and two red one red two or it can be green one or green two each one of them we do the others that we have in spinner A. Each one of spinner A, we put with the others in the spinner B. For each one of them, we do it. B1, B2, R1, R2, G1, G2. What you need to do, at first, write the spinners, write the possible outcomes in this, each one of the spinners. We said in spinner A, we have blue, red, green. In spinner B, we have one, two, and write all together. B1, B2, R1, R2, G1, G2. This would be all possible outcomes that can be happen. If the B asks you to write the outcomes that satisfy the event, spinner B shows two. Spinner B shows only two. Spinner B shows two. It means we don't count those which have one. Only those which has two, like B2, R2, G2 b2 red and two green and two these are all possible outcomes that spinner b shows number two the last question it is example four using fundamental counting principle and this one just asks you how many possible outcomes we have just write by number how many possible how possible outcomes like one two three four five six this is six possible outcomes this is one two three four this is four possible outcomes this is two possible outcomes like that this is one two three four five six six different possible outcomes and the question tells you in a game each player rolls a number cube and spins a spinner 
the spinner is divided into thirds numbered one two and three it means we have two things number cube what else a spinner which is one two three spinner which is one two three we have these two each player throws the number cube spins the spinner which is one two three in the number cube how many possible outcomes we have you know we have six always we use multiply the other one in spinner we have one two three three possible outcomes which would be three multiply six or six multiply three is eighteen eighteen possible outcomes we will have in this one we had one two in the other one we have one two three two multiply by three we will have six possible outcomes one two three four five six because here we have two multiply by three we will have six in the compound inequalities always you can find the number of possible outcomes by multiplying the numbers by each other that's all about random experiment in 4.1 thanks for watching have a nice day